Hello there guys and girls, welcome to Seek Truth and Speak Truth. Thank you so much for all your new subscriptions, the channel is still growing. Um, brilliant, keep it going, keep it going, let's spread the real, real truth now. Um, I'm an ex-flat earther, um, I had about 19 videos of me sitting in this very chair, uh, explaining the lies of other people. I was fooled, I was conned by charlatans, um, people that just think they're these amazing new scientists, when in reality they are con men. I'm angry and it needs to stop. Um, apparently I am the shill or the paid agent, I get it, I understand, um, but no, I'm not. Um, there's channels out there that are making a lot of money out of you guys. You're sending your hard-earned money to them. For what? For them to just live a life of lies and to push us back as a human race. And it's got to stop. It has to stop. So please keep sharing, watching and liking my videos, commenting. Um, if you look back at my last few videos, you will see... Uh, some of the delinquents from a certain channel have come onto my page because there's a man sitting getting shed rage uh, talking about me and conspiracy cats, baldy cats. Um, that's the only thing they have is um, lies and what's called objective reality, uh, which basically means if I don't understand it, it can't be true. Um, you guys know what science is we all learned it at school um the repetition of experiments um the the way that we do experiments um these guys sitting there trying to claim that they're new scientists are just forcing your minds away from the real truth and it has to has to stop um just look at the comments from these guys um, and as soon as proofs start coming their way they just overlook them, as I did. Um, but it's working, it's working. I'm posting a lot of uh, my videos onto some flatter Facebook groups. And I am converting people back 100%. Certainly people that were about to go that next step down and start saying, I am a flat earther. I am helping them. Um, so this is working. Um, it really is working. Obviously there's going to be a small minority group of people that just still berate and say that I'm a shill or a paid actor so be it if you want to believe that um, if you believe that there's an, a, a, a conspiracy big enough to cover up the shape of our earth so be it I believed it um, but you've got to take that away from your heads um, you are indoctrinated if you think the earth is flat you have been brainwashed uh, you have been fooled. Um, you think, obviously, that, you know, it's a magical feeling. I had it. And I, I lost friends, but I didn't care. I thought, you know what, I know the truth. I've gotten closer to our creator. Um, and I still believe in creation. I, you know, I know a lot of science-based guys do not. It's fair enough. I'm not going to try and force anyone into believing in creation. But... Flat Earth brought me to creation. I was a pure atheist before that. So I do owe it thanks to that, basically, because I still feel special. Still feel brilliant, even though I've gone back to the ball or back to reality, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, these channels are just ruining hundreds of years of science. Um, and yes, I know you're in the mindset that Copernicus came along and came up with this amazing elaborate story and heliocentrism and this and that, but it's false. You've been lied to. Um, you've probably all heard of the Bedford Levels experiment by a certain Mr. Eric the Con Man Dubay. Um, he never mentions a gentleman called Alfred Russell Wallace who disproved the experiments. Um, refraction... It's brought up a lot, it's used a lot, but it exists, it happens, and that's why you can see further than the maths tell you you should. Refraction exists. 
um, lasers, laser light bends. There's many videos you can watch of refraction happening in front of your very eyes, but you will deny it or either look at flat earth videos that will only just spout nonsense at you and push you further down the hole. But the Bedford Levels experiment, um, Robotham used refraction to his advantage. He had his, um, like the measuring sticks that are out of the water, so close to the water that it actually caused refraction and then it led people to believe that the earth was flat. Alfred Russell Wallace comes along, recreates the experiment but higher up away from the water and what happens confirms spherical earth because refraction wasn't getting in the way and lo and behold we live on a sphere. Mr Jubay never ever mentions this and that alone should ring alarm bells to somebody that he spouts these guys' names, uh, proofs out, but doesn't go the other side and then mention the fact that the claim was completely debunked over 100 years ago and is still trying to spout the nonsense. It makes me feel sick. Um, that book should have been called 200 Proofs That Might Make You Think We Live on a Spinning Ball. It's not facts. Proofs. They just they just make you think because you don't unfortunately understand as I didn't. I watched it and that's what made me think the Earth was flat. Um, oh, trains aren't made to be able to climb up the side of a, a a massive ball and this and that. It's the scale. It's the scale, guys. Uh, gravity exists. Water does stick to a spinning ball. Um, again these these charlatan channels which will say oh it doesn't match my practical reality um so i don't think well, that's pretty good impression pretty good impression let's try again it doesn't match practical reality that's better um practical reality is to recreate an experiment big enough or perfect enough to make water stick to a spinning ball you would more or less have to go to the size of the earth um, whilst also overcoming earth's own gravitation these guys just push nonsense on you because you don't understand and i still don't understand but i understand now that millions upon millions of scientists out there are not all hoodwinking us um you have been hoodwinked um I'm sure some of my subscribers have come from this delusional channel. Um, I keep getting many comments and I've got a lot of people fighting my corner as well. So thank you so much because, like I say, I do not know the answer to everything. And it really, really helps when I've got you guys back in my corner. Um, you know, this does seem like it's a war now. Um, I'm jumping myself in the deep end. Very, very soon I'm going to start doing live streaming and I really hope to get you guys on board uh, so we can interact together because uh, when we're just sort of commenting on videos, unfortunately I do miss some sometimes. Um, but just send a message again if you really want to chat. Um, I have a new email address, seektruthspeaktruthofficial at gmail.com if anyone would like to email me would be great uh maybe some topics to discuss during shows or if you'd like to actually chat with me live uh let's do it come on come on board if you've got a channel that you want to help build up or if you've got a bigger channel and you want to help me spread my truth get in touch get in touch with me um i'm going to share a video in the probably pin it at the top uh it's got by a guy called wolfie 6020 uh, and it is a video of him making water stick to a spinning ball and it is only a small, small little ball, so they're little droplets of water, some at the top, some at the bottom, and some sticking to the bottom. Um, I remember Fight the Flat Earth, when I used to do my water can't stick to a spinning ball claims, he used to say things like water is sticky, um, it has adhesion, things like that, and I'd just overlook it, but it does, it really does. Um, water particles love sticking together and staying together, um, and then obviously that gravitational pull towards the centre is just keeping everything together. I know it's so hard to get your head round. It took me two years um, whilst I was in flat earth of complete denial of it. But it's reality. Um, curvature's been measured. Rotation's been measured. 
just because I don't understand something does not mean it's not true. I can accept that and admit that now. Um, it's a shame other people can't because there would be no such thing as a flat earth movement. So many big people believing in something with not one proof. Um, if you are a flat earther watching this now um, and would like to show me what you believe, why you believe it, um, there's not one proof, not one single proof of a flat earth. Um, even the f flat pictures you guys show at 120,000 feet, they're just faked photos. They're, they are faked photos. Um, it might be, even if it's a fisheye lens, you'll be going like this. So really no balloon footage can either confirm either way, really flat, concave or convex. I will say that now. Um, but it certainly does not prove it's flat because they've just freeze framed it at the moment of complete flatness. Half a second later, when the when it was rising, it would have gone like that or maybe started to go like that. But when you watch these videos, the majority of the videos is curving spherically like this. We live on a ball. Most of the videos you guys are watching, the flat earth balloon ones, they're just edited to just show the moments where it looks flat. It's the distortion of the camera. Whereas you believe the sphere is the distortion of the camera. It's all reversed on you. Um, your, th your thoughts will be that we're trying to reverse it, but it's not. Your leaders uh, are conning you and they've made you think that the whole world is against you when it's not. Um, it's, it's, it's bad. It really is bad that this, this uh, world is in a state like this where, you know, we've just been going up and up and up and up and up and up. And, you know, people like Robotham come along with their outlandish claims that soon get disproven. Um, and then other people now are coming along and pushing their absolute crap, um, brainwashing you, just brainwashing you. Uh, that's all it is because there's not one fact that can back up a flat and stationary earth. Rotation's been proved and so has curvature. Uh, the censoring of flat earth videos, I actually done a show about this once and said, do you know how I know that the earth is flat? How I can prove to you the earth is flat? YouTube are censoring it. And that was enough. I was like, yep, YouTube are censoring it. It's got to be flat. And now I realise they're, they're censoring it because it's crap. It's bollocks. It's a load of effing shit. Um, and that's why they're blocking it. Like, it's not real. It's fake propaganda. Um, people make money out of it. So thank God they're blocking it. Thank God. Um, it's got to be, it's got to be stopped. It's, it has to be stopped. Um, it's just sad. It really is sad. Um, let's have another look. What else have we got here? Like I say, I'm doing live streaming soon. Um, I just needed to get something out again quickly. Um, stay, keep this ball rolling. Uh, I've got to keep it going now. Um, the moon, the moon, you're told you can't look up to prove we live on a sphere when you can. That's one of the easiest ways of doing it. Uh, measuring the angles, things like that. Um, we always see the same side of the moon. Um, so say here, moon. Um, if you were this side of the, you know, if we were living on a flat plane, you were this side of the moon and one person was that side of the moon, the moon would be in the middle of you both. You would both see a different moon. The moon sink photos are because the sphere is here, the moon is so far up high that no matter whether you're there or there, you're still looking at the same angle. Flat earthers think in 2D. That was one of the things that cracked me out of this, was the thought that everything becomes two-dimensional. We live in a three-dimensional world. Um, that was what snapped me out of it. Um, and thank God it did, like I say. Um... Right, like I say, the FB groups I've been speaking with um, comment earlier, I am 100% FE, but still curious, have we been lied to? And I'm sharing my videos, we're in discussion now. Um, I am helping, I am helping. Um, so we've got to keep pushing this on. I'm sorry I'm a bit ranty and just 
rushed, but that's because I'm so angry that I know people are sitting there trying to speak badly on my name. Um, when in reality, all I'm doing is trying to stop these con men from pushing their absolute crap onto you guys. Um, it's it's just fake. There was there was a hundred proofs. We don't live on a spinning ball. Then Eric Jabay said, oh, 200 proofs we don't live on a spinning ball. I could write 400 if I wanted to. You could write a thousand things that just don't make any sense and go against complete already confirmed science and people that don't understand it may fall into your traps. I did because I didn't understand, but I was willing to accept that I might be wrong. And that's what no flat earther at the minute is willing to accept that their world view might be wrong and they might be the ones indoctrinated. One of the things you hear is, oh, your indoctrination starts at school. One of the first things they show you is a globe. Um, it starts from an early age. You never question it. You never question it. Of course, that's going to be the first thing you're shown at school because that's where you live. You, let's start from there like right guys welcome welcome to class this is our world this is where we live go out and explore it it would be a crime not to show these children where we live everything has been twisted on you to make you believe this stuff um let's do it i mean like i say i'm gonna go live stream and i think maybe friday seven o'clock uh coming up um, it's going to be British Mean Time, so obviously, you know, if you don't catch it there and then, please still comment. Um, I'd like anyone, flat earthers, ball earthers, to come in. Let's chat, let's discuss, uh, but no rudeness, nothing. Um, I'm a gentleman, and that's why I didn't go on to Delusional's channel, because I was warned off, and um, somebody said, if you saw a rabid dog down an alleyway, would you go there and try and pet it or would you walk past it? And he's a rabid dog with nothing but sitting there with long pauses, clicking, looking at things and repeating the same thing over and over again for two hours. Uh, people buy it. Great. Well done, you. Um... But that's not reality. You have been conned by a con man. I'm sorry. Um, right. The Earth's not flat. Keep coming back.